Hey, good morning. Welcome back. Um, I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. I did. I went with uh, Jenny and her family <clears throat> for Thanksgiving dinner. And now all I can think about is that sweet potato uh, side. Oh my God, it was the tastiest thing I've ever had. Really, really tasty. So I'm going to need that recipe. But so I thought today I would go over every product that I'm most thankful for that I have. Uh, some of it's cosmetic, some of it's not, um, but I just kind of, these are my <laughs> holy grails for this year that I'm really thankful for. So let me just start off with my handy dandy, uh, it's version tack fan. I think it was like 13 or $14. It has a little handle. It's actually USB charged. Uh, it has three different little speeds. Probably, ooh. Anyway, <laughs> I just got them in perfect place. They look kind of silly when they're not. Any my bangs. Anyway, I'm thankful for my bangs. I do like my bangs. But I love that fan. I got it off Amazon. It was thirteen or fourteen dollars, I think. Um, and I'm so backwards. That drives me crazy. Anyway, moving on to the next item. Um, I'm going to the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation that has been my holy grail for a while I did like the Neutrogena healthy skin foundation is this anyway uh, but then I found this and it gave me a little bit more coverage than what I liked because some parts I can do matte some areas of my face I can't so that has been my holy grail foundation for the year and I am now, I'm really thankful for this because now that I work it a little bit differently, um, it's really, really skin-like. It's really good. It's hydrating. I absolutely love it. The problem I have, the only problem is that all this stuff, the tip is really huge and all this stuff collects in here if you get out too much because when you squeeze, when you twist it, sometimes it's too much. This is the uh, Maybelline Instant age rewind <laughs> and of course the beauty blender that has totally changed my foundation game i absolutely love it i need a new one i have some people sending me uh carly said she'd send me some thank you so much carly to try other than beauty blender uh that other blue sponge was crap i will never use it again anyway so if you've never used a wet a, or if you've never used a damp beauty blender definitely want to try that because I promise you it'll change your foundation game but however some foundations I do find work better with your fingers or a brush but you have to kind of play with it and see I did love the flush foundation I'm going to go back at some point and get the stick and try that but you just got to play with them to figure it out all right moving on to my next one this eyeshadow palette palette from Do uh, dose of colors it's the katie and desi friendcation palette uh by the by this time next year I'm, I'm guessing i'll probably pan out of it i go for it for everything the browns are perfect they're matte the glitters are perfect they stay on really well on the lid uh it is i go for this almost every single time i do my eyeshadow um i do use a james charles palette sometimes but i still always throw one of these in there um it's just and it looks so pretty it's like a little bitty clutch i did get a highlighter with this when i got the combo um but <laughs> it's like for deeper tone skin i might actually use it for an eyeshadow i have to pull it out again and play with it and while we're on dose of colors these i just i think i'm just naturally knocking over i don't know this is just weird anyway whatever um the dose of color lashes these are called i have them on today i don't know they've lost their shape i've got to get a new pair but these are called double dose uh these are 14 dollars. the case is really nice I like that um, yeah I'm definitely getting another pair of these are a hundred percent human hair lashes Macs are too but Mac has the same old 
they haven't really updated their lashes too much so I'm kind of over that so the other pair of lashes which I went and finally got a new pair because I had dropped some foundation on them and then put mascara to try to cover it up and I never do that so are the um, this is lash couture naked drama these are the laces uh, they're kind of split down the middle of the lash so you get that extra fluffy look to it these are really soft um, they give you drama but not too much drama because I, there's for me personally I cannot stand making sure I have my mic turned on because I have a horrible habit of not doing that but I have a horrible habit of um, not turning that on so these are my new favorite I'm still going through looking trying some different other lashes and if I ever get there I will so moving on to the next thing I'm kind of grabbing it because most of this is already out I use it on a daily basis um, so pardon for the reach so the other one is the wet n wild highlighting powder blossom glow I don't have it on today but I it is my go-to hands down I cannot live without it um, oh I love it it's I just can't that and the next one is this essence pure nude it's a highlighter but you can take a fluffy brush if you find that you are looking a little dry in some areas you can dust it on it gives it a nice creamy finish to your foundation I like it as a highlighter because it kind of gives it a, a wet a nice skin wet look not too look how white my hand is okay crap anyway so, I did this and the uh, the the wet and wild. Sorry, are my hands down go to. I am super duper thankful for it to have, um, but I'm really I'm really into this one right now. Another highlighter that I do love is the uh, it's the Aurora from Anastasia. This one is a super stark white, but what I love about these highlights, there is some glitter in it, but they're not, it's not too chunky. Um, but what I love the most about this is you can mix and match all these highlighters, and they are all so pretty. And I found it actually at TJ Maxx for really cheap, and then I got two, and I put one in my kit, but I don't know if I pan out on this at some point, but it's, guys, if you ever pan out on something, it takes... A lifetime like it takes forever like eyeshadows on eyeshadows I use every day it takes me at least two or three years before I pan out so I mean unless you're just doing it five times a day <laughs> I don't know why you would that's hard on your face I have to give my face a break sometimes and I thought about doing that today but then I was like no I'm off tomorrow so I can needle my face <laughs> I'm still I like doing that but it just I don't know my skin just being really weird now so my favorite new powder brush is this wet and wild wet and wild it's got a lot of good stuff is this wet and wild powder it is so soft it's synthetic but it's great for like I will do my contouring part actually with this brush and then when I want to like bronze like make it warmer somewhere else but not contour this has been my favorite thing it's like fluffy so it disperses the colors nice and evenly and you don't have too much going on because with this one wherever you put it that's where all that color is gonna land and then you're gonna have to sit and buff it out so when I use this one I tap 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 all the way down I hate that word tap 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 moving on my next favorite brush is the oh is the real techniques highlighting brush it's synthetic but it's just the perfect shape to just kind of take it down here I start about midway and go down and then I kind of and then I do two rounds of highlighter I for me personally I can't go deep enough with the highlighter I love highlighter you can just call me a tin man <laughs> so I love it I, I love highlighter it is my it's a product I cannot live without so moving on to my next one because I 
I'm looking here and I, I do have a lot. And most of this I have come across in the past year. So some of this is old. Some of this I've had, but they're my daily go-tos I will forever be thankful for. But uh, one I got this year was this uh, mini um, tapered brush. It has been my favorite for going underneath the lash line. And even when you want to get that solid crease color, I don't think, I don't know if y'all can, my bangs. <laughs> I love them, but it's harder to see all my eye look with the bangs. And I'm kind of okay with that. So that's why when I do my videos, I have them pulled back and then I'll fix them back for work. This, I, I'm finding I'm using this every single day. I love it. And it was really inexpensive. All right, so let's talk about setting sprays. I was, I did the Evian, and it's okay, because basically it's just a water mist that's going to hydrate your face. But then I picked up the Pixie, and I'm sorry, but if I'm bottling out, and I'm almost, I'm almost done with this, you know it's great. So I love this one. This is Pixie Skin Treats Hydrating Milky Mist. Um, I haven't used it lately because I tried some other things that are fantastic. So I go between. I usually will spray this on after I've needled my face because it helps keep from getting that sunburn feeling. Uh, but it's got hyaluronic acid and oats in it. And it's real good for calming and smoothing. And my dog's going a lot. I guess he's got to go to the bathroom. Anyway, he's just getting silly. I love my baby. So the next one is the Mario Badescu. Uh, I've got the Rose Setting Spray uh, with aloe, herbs, and rose water. It's going to help calm and soothe the skin, but it leaves you with a nice dewy finish because some of these, even the demi mats are sometimes too matte, so this breaks it down to a really, really, really nice dewy finish on it without making it too much. But you know me, I like to glow. I, I don't like to look dry. So after I sprayed that one on, when I'm done with everything else, I follow with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And let me tell you, the spray, I don't know. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's just, it doesn't, because you know, sometimes when you spray it, only like parts of it come out. You ladies know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So you have to go over it again to make sure every area, but this covers everything. It's a nice mist, and it has really kept stuff on my, on my chin and my nose. I'm going to extra protect my chin. Jennifer can't keep shit on her chin. Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, so those are my top setting sprays. There's some more I want to try and I'll ultimately do a whole video on setting sprays is what I want to do. Um, but not today. So moving around <laughs> right along with all my other stuff, my favorite lipstick I've had this year, I think has been this, um, for the most part, this is really what I want to go after. It is the uh, Maybelline, um, sorry, it's a shine lipstick. It's like five bucks, but it's the, like the perfect nude lip. So when I have a heavy eye like this, I do a nude, but even not, even if when you just want to do a simple, simple look, it's five bucks. I keep it in my pocket. I touch up with it. It has been my go-to since I bought it. I love it. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite nude lipstick. I've heard Marc Jacobs has one similar to it. So would you want to pay $21 or $5? So let's talk about lip liners. Again, we're going back with the dose of colors. I love these. Uh, these are two. This is casual. This is casual. And this is nitty gritty. Nitty gritty is a little bit darker. I use it with more of a darker nude. <clears throat> and then this is casual lip liner, which is very nude, which is what I have um on today with this lipstick but i love how when you pull the little lid off you ha it's a twist up but they're so creamy and they just glide on you don't tug you don't do anything it's really nice and i believe they have a sharpener at the top so you can sharpen it when you need to but i have not done that yet and i need to 
So the next one I want to talk about is I got this in a, like a little kit last, well, yeah, last Christmas I got this in a little kit. It's a Makeup Forever Color Artist Pencil. This is probably like hands down, I don't know, it's a, um, guys, <laughs> don't sharpen your pencils. I need to sharpen this one. You can't really see it too well. But it's a nice walnut nude, nude. So if I'm not using one of those two, I'm using this one. It is really, really pretty. But for a pencil, a sharpening pencil, it glides on so nice. And this one is called whatever walnut. And I know I've used it several times in my videos. Moving along. Let's talk about the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This has now become my favorite primer again because when i first started using this they didn't have the clear primers out that wasn't a thing uh, and then shortly after they came out with these urban decay i believe came out with the potion primer uh but urban decay has never worked for me uh the nars clear one does but apparently i i don't know what happened it's not working as well on me that and i also have um some dark some purple up on my lids so I love this one. This is called Painterly. It's a nude flush color and it helps uh, neutralize some of the colors in your lid if you've got a lot of veins or something else like that. It's great for that. Now let's talk about the Stila Smudge Pot because I used to love Max um, Fluid Line Gel Eyeliner and then all of a sudden it just really wasn't working for me. It was running down my face and it never did that. I wore it for so many years and it never did that so i'm wondering if they changed the formula on it i have no idea i've tried the l'oreal i tried the maybelline i tried every other gel eyeliner and they were crap the maybelline and l'oreal you had to go over and over and over just to even get it black and that's supposed to be their blackest black terrible terrible so this one was about the same i think it was 14 or 15 maybe 17. Uh, it's the Stila Smudge Pot. This one I'm finding is staying put really well for me. Uh, I don't really have any problems. I think I have more problems with the brush I actually use on it because it's old. And then I got the Morphe brushes, but I've just decided that they're too long. Um, <laughs> I, I just never could really, I'm going to keep them because they're nice and I'll probably use them on somebody or maybe one day if I don't feel like cleaning my brushes, I'll use it again on myself. So I really feel like that was a problem, but this one, this one's a winner for me so far. And let's talk about ColourPop. The Super Shock Shadows. Oh my gosh, when you put your hand in these, they, uh, it's kind of spongy, bouncy. I don't know what the word is for that, but this is my favorite color. It's called Frog. I top almost everything with this. And I have a few more colors that I haven't really totally played around with, um, but this is this is a go-to for me a lot, a, like a whole, whole lot. It's awesome. It's $6. It's inexpensive. You can get it at Ulta or you can go to their website. There's other things from them I want to try that I've heard are great. Anyway... <laughs> So, but I, that, I've been all in that frog. I'm probably going to pan out, like, maybe by the end of the year, maybe, maybe my next year. Like I said, it takes a long time to pan out. Speaking of panning out, my favorite ever blush is from MAC, and it's called Dolly Mix. It looks like it's super duper bright, but really, it just gives you a nice flush look on the cheek. And I have panned out of this... I need to get some more. Thank you, Jesus, that they still actually make this blush because it is the perfect flush look blush. I used to have another favorite from Illamasqua. And if you've never heard of it, it's a like a theater brand makeup uh, in the UK. And they had one like a rose colored, like a burnt rose or a smoky rose. I don't know. Uh, one. And then I panned out on that too. <laughs> but they don't have it. Or I could go on the website, but I don't know. I haven't, I don't know why I haven't done it. But <clears throat> it is, hand, I think it was limited edition, but I think you can find it like on Poshmark or something. But anyway, 
I pinned down on that one, so I, and then whatever was left I was using, it broke. So I did not throw it away. It is still in there. So we're going to move on to a shadow stick. This is the Makeup Forever Professional in 32E. Again, I should sharpen my pencil. It's time. I love this. I don't really use it as a shadow. I use it as a waterline uh, liner, and it stays put so well. Of course, makeup for, that's what Makeup Forever does. Uh, their aqua line was made for, like, synchronized swimmers, you know. So, um, but this, I love it. I love doing the brown in my waterline. It makes my eye look not so harsh. Sometimes I do black, but most of the time I just do the brown because it kind of softens the look a little bit. And surprisingly enough, the next thing I like is from Essence. Essence has a lot of fantastic stuff. I haven't tried everything on there, but I've tried a few things. Okay. Sorry. He's making noises. <laughs> so this is the Essence um, All About Silky Matte. It's a light, light, light pale pink uh, powder. And this is actually what I use. Let me see if I can find the brush right here. I take this brush. I only, a, like you can barely see it on there. And then I just tap underneath my eyes to help set my concealer. Guys, this is probably the only powder I have found that it does not cake up under my eyes and it helps seal it. But if you use too much powder, it's going to look cakey because before this, I wasn't setting. Now I have something to set with. I think Laura Mercier has a brightening powder that you can do the same thing. It's got some shimmers to it to help it look like skin, but uh, we all can't always afford Laura Mercier, so this is good. I think this was $4.00. I think you can get it in Ulta and now and the other essence product I have I'm at 21 minutes talking a whole bunch a whole bunch of crap okay the essence contouring kit I love this one because the brown is a cool tone brown I go for this every single day if I feel like I need to warm it up I've got some goldish kind of bronzers that I can put on top but I don't like those orangey bronzers as a contour because nobody has orange shadows on their face. So I don't even use the highlight powder. But this was this was like five dollars, four or five dollars, I can't remember. But this is for the light skin, and I just love this. I do my nose, I do my um, my jawline, and then I kind of buff it out. But it gives it kind of the nice um, color to it. So all right. I'm at 12.55. Oh, that was done. So, all right. So the next thing from Essence is their mascaras. I've tried a few. I these are super cheap, and I am actually kind of shocked because I know some drugstore and high ends that flake out on me and smudge on me fast, and it's like a waste of money. These are I think like three and four dollars a piece. This is the uh, Essence Volume Stylist. An extra black it's got length it volumes and lengthens but I love the brush it's tiny maybe if I put it in front of my white face you can see it because I'm pale anyway uh, it's great it does give you those fibers it lengthens the lashes really well the brush is small enough to really get in on those bottom lashes too if I am NOT wearing false lashes which and right now I'm in the that's all I'm doing because that's all I love to do I will follow up with the Get Big Lash in the triple black, but the brush is huge. It's a huge brush. And then after I do the first one, I'll go in with the second one. It gives it a lot of volume and your length. I love layering mascaras because I have yet to find one mascara that does everything. Everything. So if you don't and you're layering mascara completely normal, because most ladies do. They do layer their mascaras. All right, so we're gonna move on. Speaking of lashes, I was using the Duo Surgical Adhesive Glue for my lashes. Sorry, what is that? Uh, squeezing it, but I found out I was wiping off more off the back of my hand, and I was getting just a little bit too much, because I think my brushes, the little brush was getting frayed. I've had it for so long. And I probably still will not, <laughs> I 
I still won't throw it away. So now Duo makes one with an applicator on it. So I picked one up the other day and it's got green. Um, it's very interesting when you apply this on the lash. It's kind of an opalescent color, but this is the applicator for it. I don't know if you can see. And it goes on. You're not wasting near as much glue. And this stays. I was worried about how it stayed. And this stays on really long. And yet, I have yet to have to peel like chunky parts of glue off my lashes at the end of the night. So I probably will after a few more uses. But this is something I'm going to continue to keep going for every time I do lashes. I don't think I'm going to buy the squeeze kind ever again. So now we're going to talk about liquid glitter shadows. I like the Mil Milani does. I am actually coming down off this. This is nice. I have a few of these. Um, one is a blue and the other one is more of a dark bronzy. I cannot find it. But I use this one on a regular. This is um, Luster Light. And for me, it looks like one of those ones from Stila, those magnificent metals or the. Anyway. So it's really nice. I love the applicator because you can just, I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, it's just kind of flat so you can go and you can take the edge and if you really want for a quick cut crease, you can do that too. Um, cut creases are hard on my eyes because I'm getting a little hooded, but you can kind of pull that off with this. However, there is just a little bit of fallout on these. Not enough to make you not ever want to do it put it on but they do so the next one is the wet n wild liquid cat suit this one is cashmere love and it's more of a gold bronze color and today I put the Milani one on first and I topped it off with this one this is a really pretty these do not have any fallout I love these, but their shade range on the on the different ones are kind of limited. But then they have some metal shadows. They have some other ones, uh, but these are fantastic. I did try the nude one and tried using it as a primer, and it didn't work well at all. So I had just have to use a regular primer for that. But both of these, if you're looking for liquid glitter shadows, these are both fantastic. I go for these a lot. A lot and I uh, yeah <laughs> a lot of these products I'm telling you I don't know where I'd be without them I'd still be roaming somewhere looking for something so the next thing I want to do is a lip treatment um, actually I have a whole box of crap hold on I'm gonna have to I've got one more thing I have to do. whole box of stuff so the other night I was looking online because I like to make my scrubs because lip scrubs are kind of expensive. They're not uh, they're not cheap and then you don't get a whole lot. So and then I started looking I was like a lot of these ingredients that are in there you've got in your own kitchen. I've made a honey uh, brown sugar water and coconut oil scrub before but that came out the recipe for that came out so runny. So I found one with chocolate. So I made it. It's um, it's cocoa powder, uh, honey, brown sugar, and extra virgin olive oil. Yes. So I mix it up in my little dish, and I found this container at HEB for 97 cents, which is a perfect size because the other things I had were taking up too much space in my bathroom. So I tried it last night because I, I was wondering what the consistency of it would be like because, you know, there's nothing when you... The other one I had to get a little scoop because it was so runny. This one is not runny at all. It's it's hydrating, but it's got some grit to it, so it's really going to scrub those lips. I will say, because it does have cocoa powder in it, if you're going to scrub your lips, go ahead and scrub them before you wash your face because it is cocoa powder and you're getting it all over. So if you have a nice clean face and moisturize and thought you'd do this, don't do that. Go ahead and do it first and then do I will put the recipe for this down on the bottom or you can google it and make your own I really feel like this is the best way so and then I follow up I have the Laneige I use that 
maybe about once a week. I forgot to put it in my little box because I used it last night. But the sleeping lip mask, it's 20 bucks. It's one of my very favorite lips. But what I use on a day to day and throughout the day is this uh, raw sugar natural lip balm with pineapple and maquai mock berry and coconut. Um, it is really nice. It, it takes a while. Like chapstick, you're reapplying every 20, 30 minutes. It's a pain in the butt. So, um, the fresh lip treatment, I really like a lot, um, on a daily basis, but that's also like 20 something dollars a tube. I can't do that. So this was, I think $4. I don't know, but I've really, really loved it. I've enjoyed it and I will probably go back. Definitely. I'm always, actually Freckles really likes it too, because if he can get his little mouth on it, he's carrying it all around the house. I don't know what it is. He loves it. There's Maybe there's something in it that he smells that he loves. And he knows I'm talking about him right now. And i got to hurry up because I know he's got to go. He's got to go. So the next thing I want to talk about is this Clean Freak. And I already have. But I've used it so many times. I love the, sex, the big sexy hair dry shampoo. But that's like, again, 16, 20 bucks a bottle. I can't do it. This is a big bottle. I want to say it's $4.99 or $5.99. It's less than the Batiste, I know. But it's a big bottle. They have different scents. They have regular. I have the warm sugar. This makes my hair smell like a sugar cookie. But it is um, a tapioca dry shampoo. So I have been using this on a regular. I'm out of this one can. I've got another one up there I've got to start using. But this has now become my go-to on a daily basis because if you know me, and guess what? My hair is in a bun. It's pretty dirty. But um, anyway, so I do use this in between because I wash maybe one or two times a week. I wash my hair one or two times a week. I hate washing my hair. It takes so long rinsing all that crap out. It takes a long time to dry it and straighten it. And... Uh, yeah, so no, the dry shampoos can be your best friend. So <clears throat> now we're going to move on to skincare. I'm at 32 minutes. Yay. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't get this done quick. The micro needle. Uh, I think, I feel like I need now a deeper needle because I've got some lines coming in that are pretty deep. I really need to take care of. I do this. You can, if once you get good with it, you can do it about every other day about three times a week. Uh, but I still do it about once a week or once every two weeks. I'm probably not doing it as frequently enough, but I do love what it does because it, basically what it is is puncturing little holes in your skin. Uh, so it really get, activates that collagen in your skin to help repair itself. So that helps with the fine lines and the pores and everything like that. It's I do like it. I have noticed a different in certain parts of my face. Uh, but I think that uh, overall, if you want noticeable difference, I think it takes a while. It's a slow, it's a slow burn, which I, I trust those more than those instant ones. Um, you can usually get these for about ten to twenty dollars. This is a point two five needle. I want to try to get a point five. I don't think I'm ready for a one. But when you do it you uh it feels like a little sunburn so after that after i've micro needled my face i usually will follow it with some bio oil or my vitamin e cream and lately my skin has been so dry and this stuff has saved my life i, I don't think it's enough i think i need a real night cream instead of just this but it has saved myself. This this I really want to keep to follow with needling because the vitamin E helps repair the skin after that as well. But the um, bio oil, I love this stuff and I'm almost down to the bottom. And I don't use a lot. So it's a light oil. It absorbs pretty quick. But it's got vitamins, I think vitamin A in it to help even your skin tone and to help. Uh, with any scarring that you have because this is made for scarring and I do have little I haven't used it in a while because I've been trying different things but <clears throat> it does help with the scarring on your skin so moving on I've just got a box here my another go-to is the Kate Somerville Eradicate Daily Foaming Cleanser it's with me I can't do salicylic acid 
this has sulfur in it. This really did well with keeping uh, keeping the breakouts to a, a minimum because I do get, especially when the weather changes or I get sick, it keeps it to a minimum. And I've got, I'm down to like right here on it. I've been through three tubes of these, but then I started noticing that maybe the sulfur is a little bit too drying. So just recently I switched back to my Bosha Clear Complexion, um, which has willow bark extract instead of salicylic acid. So it's really nice when I wash with that one. Uh, it's got a squeak, I'm squeaky clean, but without overstripping the skin because sometimes those can make you dry as well. So once a week, I do have, I'm not going to peel for a while because I did burn my face. I got to hurry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I did burn my face with it right here. So I'm kind of taking a break, but I do my, the ordinary. Guys, if you've never used anything from the ordinary, look them up. They are so inexpensive and their products are so effective and good. Um, I love it. So I've tried the peel from them and then I tried, oh, and then I, yeah. Anyway, so before, I, like, so I do the peel one week and then I'll do, uh, an exfoliate like a scrub. So this is the Bliss Micro Magic. I love this. It's so fine and gritty and it was like $13. I've tried some that are really good and they're like 20 or $30. I'm all about cost efficiency and if it's great, but don't get me wrong. If it's expensive and it works, I'm going to go for that too. So I'm not all about cheap. I'm just about <laughs> if does a cheap work just as well as expensive, then why not buy the least expensive one? But <clears throat> but if there's nothing comparable, believe me, I will spend my money on the expensive stuff. So the next thing from The Ordinary is the uh, Grand Active Retinoid Emulsion. This is 2% retinoid. And for those of you who have known me for a while, I am a retinoid junkie. It is really the it is really the only thing that's helped keep my skin clear like regularly. Um, it helps with the fine lines. It helps keep those pores clear. I do a Clarisonic brush. I think I'm having some breakouts because maybe the brush head is not effective anymore. I should have swapped it out months ago. Anyway. But I didn't. So this one, it comes in a little, uh, I just replaced it because I just used the last of this bottle last night. But it comes in a bottle like this. I want to say it's like nine bucks. The peel was like seven dollars. It's very expensive. They, I think the most expensive thing I think is like 14 or 15 dollars. But if you've never tried it, please, I encourage you to do so because it's, it's fantastic. So, and it's 2%. However, I do follow with that vitamin E cream because it's thicker and it helps. Because once you do this, this helps resurface the top of your skin and it'll leave it a little bit dry. So, and before I got my hands on this, I was using the Philosophy, Philosophy Help Me Cream. That was the only other retinoid that I loved that my skin just loved it. It just, it just loved it. Uh, everything else I find is probably too active for me. So, like, the higher the grade, the more my skin's like, eh, no, 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 no. Oh, I know what it was. It was a rosehip oil. I'm sure it's good, but my, I have a terrible reaction to rosehip. Um, like, I broke out with acne, and then I was taking a hair, skin, and nail uh, pill. Because my nails, they're getting ridgy. They're dry. I don't know what to do about it. Um, so, I tried their, their little pill. And I didn't realize it had rosehip in it. And guys, my I had whelps all the way up the back of my neck. And my lymph nodes were swollen. So once I, it took me about four days, stopped taking it four days, and everything went down. So that's how I knew it was that. And I was wondering if it was a retinoid. And then I got super sad because I was like, I love retinol. I'm a retinoid junkie. <laughs> I love it. And sorry, this is the last time I'm bending down. Sorry. I just don't have a whole lot of room because I'm kind of messy. Um, <clears throat> this straightener right here, I've had a T3. I've had all those high-end um, straighteners. I've had a Chi. They were okay. <laughs> 
But then I, when I had gotten rid of most of my stuff, my hair dryer and my, or yeah, my hair, my hair dryer and my straightener went with my stuff I got rid of because I thought I was starting over somewhere else. Anyway, um, so I had to repurchase it. Um, it guys, this is like $28. You can see the gold plate. This is probably hands down the best straightener I have ever used. I got it off Amazon and like I said it was 28 bucks. I usually when I straighten my hair it looks like dry and cake like just no this is amazing. I just this is the don't spend $300 on a straightener. Just don't do it. Not even $100. Just go on Amazon and pick this. This is um, Rosalie stylish iron plus r-o-s-i-l-y i think later when i do this video if i can figure out how to link it down here it, i will link the the website for it but if you need a straightener and you don't want to spend that much money this is fantastic this is probably one of the best 28 bucks i have ever spent hands down and i hope so badly it doesn't break on me but even if it does i'll buy another one so, oh, yeah, I forgot. My new day moisturizer. I have a serum in there. I don't know if I like it. I'm going to continue to use it because I have it and I bought it. But this day cream, this is Organ Dr. Organic's Rose Restoring Day Cream. This has been my new favorite. Um, what did I use today? Oh, no, I did use it today. This, it smells like rose. Uh, it's not heavy. It's really light, but it's very hydrating. It re has really helped with my dry skin lately. I want to get this in the night cream and try that as well because really the vitamin E with that retinol really quite isn't enough. Um, but my, I have a problem with my skin being so red that I want to go back to the ordinary and that they have a niacinamide I think that's what it's called but it helps with even skin tone and redness now I'm wondering if I can mix that with my retinol <laughs> when luckily Jennifer won't ask but she'll try <laughs> we don't know what will happen so guys okay we're at 42 minutes and I'm so sorry but um those are my favorites for the whole year these are hands down things that have worked successfully for me over and over and over and over and over and over and over they have not failed me yet. I'm still on the hunt for an eye cream. I'm still on the hunt for a concealer and even foundations. But I think I'm just a foundation junkie. Anyway, oh, there goes my... Anyway, sorry guys. I want to wish you guys... I hope you all had a fantastic um, Thanksgiving. And I hope you um, have a fantastic weekend. And I want to say happy birthday to my dad. Um, I've got to go to work in a few minutes. So... Please enjoy your birthday. I love you very much. Thank you guys. And I will, I don't even know where I'm at. I will see you in my next video. Okay. Bye.